Git is a very popular version control system for software. We need Git for working with our Node ecosystem that we're going to use throughout this specialization. So it is important for you to get Git onto your computer. So let's uh, go through a few quick steps to set up Git on your computer and then some quick commands to, uh, to enable us to make use of Git in this specialization. I will not go into too much of details about version control and how Git works and so on. That is beyond the scope of this course. Instead, we'll just get some basic understanding of Git. Git is, as I said, a version control system. This is a software tool that enables us for the management of changes to source code and maintaining a version history. So as your source code evolves, you will be able to, uh, to check in the code at different points of time so that you can always uh, have a way of rolling back to a previous version in case your updates to the code doesn't work correctly. There are various version control systems that are in use in the real world, uh, including CVS, SVN, and Git being a very popular uh, mechanism for version control these days. Where did Git originate? Git was designed by uh, Linus Torvalds, the person behind the Linux operating system. Git was designed as a version control system, a distributed version control system for use in Linux uh, kernel development. And it has seen much wider deployment in the real world these days. The Node ecosystem is very much tied into Git, and that is the reason why we need Git for this specialization. Let's now move on to a few hands-on exercises where you will first set up Git, then you will learn a few basic Git commands, and then also um, understand how you can set up an online repository in places like GitHub or uh, Bitbucket for uh, synchronizing your um, uh, source code from your computer to the online repository. This is obviously not a comprehensive tutorial on Git, but we will learn just enough uh, of the commands that are necessary for use in this specialization. Let's now run through a few quick steps to set up Git on your computer. One easy way of setting up Git on your computer is to go to this site called git-sem.com and then uh, download the Git installation files from there. So when you visit this website, git.sem.com, you will see on the right, right hand side here um, a button for you to download the Git. If you want to, you can go directly to the downloads page here on uh, the site and then you will find the downloads for various platforms and you can download the one for your specific platform for installation. This is the easiest way of getting Git onto your computer. There are other ways of setting up Git depending on your platform. For example, if you um, uh, install GitHub desktop on your computer, it will automatically set up Git for you. If you are using a Mac and you set up Xcode and especially the Xcode command line tools, that will also set up Git for you. On this site, gitsem.com, if you go to the documentation page, you will notice that um, there is a book here called ProGit. You can just go on to the Getting Started link. You will see a specific chapter here on installing Git. So just go to this installing Git site, and there you have more details about how to install Git on, on your specific platform. So you can use any of the methods suggested here for installing Git on your platform. This is fairly straightforward, so I'm not going to go through the details of how to do the setup. Download the installer and run through the setup to get Git onto your computer. Once you install Git on your computer, start up a command window or PowerShell if you're using a Windows machine, or uh, start up a terminal window if you're using a um, Mac or a Linux machine, and then at the prompt, type in git minus minus version to check 
what version of Git is installed on your computer. So on my machine, I have this current version of Git installed, um, and that is good enough for me to work with. Once we verify that Git is installed, we will configure a couple of global um, identity parameters, the username and uh, an email address, so that whenever Git does any commits, as you will learn later, it will make use of this information. So to do that, at the prompt, type git config minus minus global user name. And then you can type in your username. The other parameter that I'm going to configure is my email. And to ensure that this information has been configured, we can type git config list, and then it'll list out a bunch of configurations that we have done. Some of these are automatically set up for you, but if you want to, you can set them up as you require. So here I have my core editor value set to vi, which is what I use um, to do a command line editing of files. Uh, so with this, we have completed the setup of Git for use on our computer. Once you get Git on your computer, it is time to go and learn Git bit by bit. Yeah.